question as you wake up on this Tuesday in the state of New York is who decides who is a public health risk? A Democratic lawmaker in New York is proposing a controversial new bill that would allow the governor to round up and detain individuals or groups of people who are considered, quote, public health risks. Yes, you're, you're hearing me perfectly clearly this morning. The bill being met with some opposition, but it's not unanimous. And joining us now to talk about this is New York State Assemblyman Kieran Michael Lawler. Welcome into Wake Up America. Thank you so much for making time for us this morning. Uh, we appreciate this. This bill, uh, authored by Democratic State Assembly member N. Nick Perry, calls for the removal and or detention of individuals who are potentially dangerous to the public health. Now, where have I heard language like that before? Good morning. You know, it's hard to believe that we're hearing that in uh, the United States of America in 2021. Right. And actually, the bill has been around for about five years. Uh, it was originally introduced when Ebola was ravaging uh, Western Africa. Uh, but it became more controversial in the last few days because in the middle of this pandemic, in a state where the legislature granted the governor back in March unprecedented authority to deal with the pandemic, the governor of New York can suspend or alter any state or local law uh, beginning in March through April uh, of 2021. So we're in this context. And uh, now we have a bill that's been reintroduced in the last couple of days for the new session, which is starting this week, uh, which would grant the governor these powers. And reporters have called the governor's office. And instead of saying, no, we would never sign something like that, I right. would never uh, authorize that. Uh, you have the governor's office mocking it as an insane bill. Well, a member of the governor's party has introduced it. It's a proposal. I've seen bills sit around for years, and then all of a sudden there's a, a late-night omnibus bill that includes all kinds of nefarious legislation that's been sitting on the shelf for years. So I'm rightly concerned. My constituents are rightly concerned, and thousands of New Yorkers and, and every American should be concerned. I, every American should be concerned. I mean, and just this is not, you never want to talk about uh, uh, Nazi Germany, uh, especially in a setting like this, but this is the Stasi rounding up uh, Jewish citizens in Poland in the late 1930s, early 1940s. Uh, they had bills that were similar to this in language to institutionalize, and this goes back 80 years now, public health risks. So almost the exact same language. And it's just, it, it's frightening that something like this is now, and by the way, this is in committee. This bill's in committee, isn't that correct? It's in the health committee. It's been in there in the past when it's in, introduced in previous sessions. But like I said, we, we have a state where the governor has told New Yorkers, if you want to go to a bar and have a beer, you have to eat a meal. And then bars started serving uh, chips and chicken wings. And the governor said, no, that's not a substantial meal. So we're getting to the point in New York State where the governor is telling us when he doesn't shut the restaurants, he's telling us what we can eat uh, when we have a drink. <laughs> So it's particularly scary that we're going to give him this power. We know that this particular governor and potentially any governor or executive abuses power, and we're going to give him this power to really take people off the street. I call it the gulag bill. How is this different than the, than the Soviet gulags uh, where they're just going to pick you up? There's no real meaningful due process. There's no... Uh, Nothing in this bill that requires a lawyer and a panel. No, there's, there's, there's. I understand if there was a horrible outbreak, you would need to do something, but you'd need to have the highest level of due process, the highest level of checks and balances. To be quite honest, Al Qaeda or ISIS fighters who are not Americans who are picked up on on foreign battlefields get better due process rights than this piece of legislation. Uh, would offer New Yorkers. I, I don't know who, like a robot or space alien, seem to write these bills. I've got the bill in front of me right now, and I'll, I'll tell you what, Governor Andrew Cuomo would love this power. It's written right into the bill. It says, uh, may be engendered by a case or in uh, contact or carrier or suspected case, contact or carrier of a contagious case disease that, in the opinion of the governor, it's right there in black and white, in the opinion of the governor. So that, that's where we are right now with coronavirus in America. Uh, what do you think is the, the fate of this bill? Will there be enough of an uproar to get this thing out of there? You know, I, I'm not sure that it's, you know, about to pass imminently, but I'd feel a lot better about it if the governor came out and said, this is blatantly unconstitutional, I would never sign it. That would put everybody's mind at ease. I wish the Speaker of the Assembly and the Leader of the State Senate would come out and say, we will never pass this. Instead, they're all mocking the people who are concerned about it, saying, well, this bill's been around for a couple of years. There's a political story that called it a dormant bill. And right. then the next day, the Albany Times Unit, Union newspaper called it a dormant bill. Well, this bill was just reintroduced in the past week. It's not dormant. Yeah. It could be voted on at any point, and we have no checks and balances in New York State. Democrats have a supermajority. I'll say that again, a supermajority 
in the Assembly and the Senate. They could actually pass this and override a governor's veto, hypothetically, if the governor were to veto it. So this could pass. The, the legislature in New York State is led by hard-left Democrats, uh, more so than ever. I've been in the Assembly eight years. The Democrats have moved so far to the left in those eight years, it's really uh, mind-boggling. Yeah. Uh, so it's a concern. President Jefferson said, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. This is eternal vigilance. This conversation that we're having now, the people who emailed me from my district and around the state concerned about th that bill, they are exemplifying eternal vigilance. Everyone in, in power in New York State should come out and say, this is unconstitutional. You have my word. I will never support this becoming the law. Well, thank you so much for your time, sir. We have to leave it there. But I think any time that the government gets to decide who is a public health risk, I think that should get your attention. And uh, scary that this bill has made it this far uh, into committee. Please keep an eye on it and keep in touch with us. Thank you. Will do. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.